say sexy, love me. Sexy. Well, we've officially performed a simulation on a 99 overall forward, and we've also performed a simulation on a 99 overall goaltender. So today, we are going to perform a simulation on a 99 overall defenseman. I held a poll. It won in a pretty convincing fashion. So let's get in there and let's simulate the career of a 99 overall high franchise potential defenseman. Jackie! Starting in year one here, the draft, and Jackie Moon would be drafted to the Minnesota Wild, the team with a bear as a logo. I don't know if anyone doesn't know that. I'm assuming everyone does by now, but just in case, signs a entry-level contract because, of course, he's 99 overall. They want him on the team. They finish third in the division. Moon puts up 97 points, and the bunch of jerks are going to take home Stanley Cup for year number one. We also got a couple trophies, including the Calder already for our defensemen, so no surprises there, really. And they would make it to the second round, but would be eliminated, and Andy Green is the top retiring defenseman this year. In year number two, this is what the Minnesota offense looks like. Moon will be playing with Suter, and Darcy Kemper will be the starting goaltender. The team finishes fourth in the Central Division with 92 points. Jackie Moon will put up 88 points in 82 games. And the Edmonton Oilers are going to go ahead and win a Stanley Cup here in year number two. We've also got a first-round exit for the Minnesota Wild, six games to the Ducks, and Zdeno Chara is the top retiring defenseman for this season. Year number three, Forsberg, Rossi, and Zuccarello make up the first line. Suter and Moon as the top pair, and Georgiev will be the starting goaltender. The team finishes fifth in the Central Division. Jackie Moon would lead the team here with 99 points, just shy of 100. He was so close, and the Pittsburgh Penguins are going to win a Stanley Cup. Another, I feel like he just wins the Norris a lot. It just happens. Obviously, he's 99 overall, but Duncan Keith is the top retiring defenseman for this season. Hopping into year number four, Forsberg, Rossi, and Zuccarello still going to be the first line. Rista Linen will be the new defensive partner for Moon. Georgiev is still going to be the starting goaltender. And a new six-year, $12 million deal is signed between Moon and the Wild, who finished fifth in the entire league. Jackie Moon would put up 110 points this season. What an absolute animal. And the Florida Panthers would take home a Stanley Cup for themselves. The Minnesota Wild would be eliminated in the conference finals against the Sharks, taking seven games. And speaking of the Sharks, Brent Burns, top retiring defenseman this season. In year number five, the Minnesota Wild managed to get their hands on Alex Ovechkin. Risto is still going to be paired with Moon, and Georgiev is still going to be the starting goaltender. The team finishes second in the league there, one point behind Dallas. Moon will put up 113 points, and the bunch of jerks are going to take home, I believe already, their second Stanley Cup in this simulation. If I'm not mistaken, they won year one, and the Minnesota Wild were eliminated in the conference finals again, this time by the Edmonton Oilers in six games. Shea Weber is the top retiring defenseman this season. Year number six, Fiala, Rossi, and Nylander now will be on the right side. They're 90 overall, Risto and Moon together. Georgiev still the starting goaltender. The team will finish second in the league. Once more here, Moon will put up 99 points. Once again, just shy of that 100 mark. And the Smashville Predators are going to take home a Stanley Cup this year. The Minnesota Wild would be eliminated in round one. Swept, in fact, by Chicago. And Dewey is the top retiring defenseman for this season. Here we go with year number seven, Forsberg, Rossi, and Nylander on the first line. Addison going to be paired with Moon now. Georgiev still the starting goaltender. The team finishes fifth in the central with 94 points, so still a strong year, but just a very competitive division. 84 points would come out of Jackie Moon this season. A Stanley Cup to the Buffalo Sabres, and Chris Letang is the top retiring defenseman. Ooh, let's get started in year number eight. 
The defense will look like this. Clegg and Moon together. Georgiev still the starting goaltender. The team finishes sixth in the league this time around. Jackie Moon puts up 116 points. What a unit. And the Boston Bruins take home the Stanley Cup. Another Norris for Jackie Moon. No surprise there. The Minnesota Wild would be eliminated in the conference finals, swept by the Dallas Stars. And EK65 is the top retiring defenseman this year. The final year before the double digits, Forsberg, Rossi, and Nylander on the first line. Moon still 81 is his defenseman pair again. But anyway, it is what it is. He doesn't really need... He don't need no defensive partner. The team finishes second in the division. Moon would put up 95 points, having an absolute year again. No surprises, though. I mean, at his overall, it's kind of expected, I suppose. Edmonton Oilers are Stanley Cup champions, and the Minnesota Wild are swept by the Dallas Stars again. This time in round one, however, and OEL is the top retiring defenseman. Time is here to enter the double digits. Bring them on. O'Rourke and Moon going to be together. Georgiev no longer going to be the starting goaltender here. A massive $17 million contract over seven years for Moon. And the Wild will finish third in the entire league this year. Moon will put up 110 points. Another ridiculous season out of him. The Golden Knights are Stanley Cup champions this time around. The Wild were eliminated by the Colorado Avalanche taking five games round one. John Klingberg is the top retiring defenseman this time around. Year double one. Rossi, 90 overall. What a beast. Moon, still 99 overall. Going to be on the top pair. No surprises there. Greg Aranko, the starting goaltender. The team will finish third in the Central Division. Just shy of 100 points. Moon puts up 117 points. The Washington Capitals take home a Stanley Cup. And in Art Ross this year... For Jackie Moon, he joins the elite company of Bobby Orr. The team would be eliminated by the LA Kings, though, in round number two, taking seven games. And the former defensive partner of Moon, Ristolainen, top retiring defenseman. For year number 12, this is what the offense for the Wild looks like. Blake will now be paired with Moon. He's 81 overall. And Bergfist is the new starting goaltender. The team will finish third in the Central Division. Jackie Moon puts up 113 points. And the expansion team, Seattle Kraken, going to take home the Stanley Cup. Another James Norris for Moon. Shocker. The team would be eliminated by the eventual Stanley Cup winning Kraken in the conference finals. And Seth Jones is the top retiring defenseman this year. Year 13. Wang, Rossi, and Nylander make up the first line. Blake still going to be paired with Moon. And Shesterkin will be the starting goaltender. The team finishes fourth in the central with 98 points. Moon will put up 98 points for himself this season. And the Flow Rider Panthers are going to take home another Stanley Cup for this simulation. The Wild were eliminated in the first round, taking six games against the St. Louis Blues, who ended up making it all the way to the finals. And Maury is the top retiring defenseman this year. We are now entering year number 14 with Moon and the Wild here. Nylander on the first line down to 78 overall. Moon still at 99. Shesterkin going to be the starting goaltender. The team finishes last in the Central Division. Not good. Moon would still put up 96 points, though. He's not going to let that stop him. And the New York Islanders are going to take home the Stanley Cup this time around. Matt Dumba is the top retiring defenseman this season. Year 15 is among us. Veselin and Rossi and Kruger as the first line. Blake and Moon going to be together. And Hedrick, no, I don't know if that was his first name, but Hedin will be the goaltender there. The team finishes fourth in the league. Moon puts up 113 points. Another stellar season out of him and another Norris as well. We've got the St. Louis Blues with the Stanley Cup this time around. And the Dallas Stars will put out the Wild once more here. First round, six games. Noah Hannafin is the top retiring defenseman this season. For year 16, we got Strongest, Rossi, and Veselainen as the first line. Blake and Moon will be together once more here. And Hadin will be the goaltender again. The team finishes fourth in the Central. 93 points just missing out on the playoffs. Moon will put up 102 points this season. And the Flow Rider Panthers going to take home another Stanley Cup for their organization. This time, we've got Rasmus Dahlin as the top retiring defenseman with just over 1,000 points. Jackie Moon, 
Minnesota Wild. Love me sexy. Year 17. By the way, if you haven't seen the movie, I mean, it's got a lot of, I, I guess, adult humor in there. But, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> if you can watch it, then I recommend it. But he gets 80 points this year, which is one of his weaker seasons. He That might be his first season getting less than point a game, actually. Flo Rida Panthers win a Stanley Cup again here, back-to-back. And Miro Haskinen is the top retiring defenseman. Year 18 with the Moon Man. Here's the offense for the Minnesota Wild. Not looking too good. Moon, 88 overall. Now, Hedin will... Oh, his name is Henrik. No way. <laughs> I just noticed that. But he's the starting goaltender. The team just misses out on the playoffs. Moon will put up 67 points this year. And the Tampa Bay Lightning are going to take home the Stanley Cup. Now, Moon would retire this year. And he is the top retiring defenseman by a landslide. Just shy of 1,800 points. He played 1,476 games. Got over a thousand assists and also a plus 309. So what a career out of Jackie. He also played 127 playoff games, 143 points in those games. Unfortunately, he did not ever end up winning a Stanley Cup. All right, so I was kind of multitasking while making this video. So hopefully all of this is pretty accurate. And I know I forgot to show the contract he signed at the beginning of year 17, but it was a crazy one. It was four years by 18.315 million. So that is absurd. That might actually be the highest number I've seen someone sign for. But anyway, his overall, he signed 20 years worth of contracts. He only played 18, but yeah, he retired with two years left. And made a total of approximately $201 million. Not bad. In terms of trophies, he won 14 Norrises, one Calder. Well, obviously, he just won the Calder. He got three Art Rosses, two Lady Banks, two Hearts, two Ted Lindsays, a Partridge, and a Pear Tree. I'm probably missing a trophy or two there. But surprisingly, unless I'm mistaken, he never won a President's Trophy and he never won a Stanley Cup. Well, anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one.